What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we are back with another Reddit reaction. Today we are going through Reddit slash Battlefield 2042 which is kind of known as the more toxic one so I'm very uh, very interested to see what we get today. It's been a very quiet but very telling month for the game so I think there's going to be plenty of memes in here hopefully and uh, I'm sure some complaints and stuff but that is generally just what Reddit is like. So <laughs> we're going to be going through the top posts of the month. Before we do get into it, I do have to give a big shout out to my partners at Glitch Energy. I drink this stuff pretty much every day, every other day. It gives me a big kick of energy to sort of get through the workday. And it is essentially the healthiest energy drink on the market. That's essentially why I signed with those guys. So if you guys are looking for a big kick of energy to get you through the day, then be sure to check out glitchenergy.com. And if you do use code Sammy at the checkout, you can save yourself with 25% off. So be sure to go and check that out. But with that being said, let's get stuck into some of these reddit posts so right at the top here you can see we at top posts of the month uh this is from three days ago <laughs> dice on their way to make a new and improved battlefield after five. Oh god oh, i gotta mute that shit anyway <laughs> what the hell <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> what on earth is he gonna swim in it or something? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, they're not wrong, but... <laughs> That's a good use of a meme that has nothing to do with Battlefield. I like that. This was posted eight days ago. Tsunami, the T is silent. Honest, the H is silent. Island, the S is silent. Q, the U is silent. Kind of not really, but okay. <laughs> Battlefield 2042, EA and Dice. So <laughs> that, is, uh, that is very, very true. And this month, I think, was the month that we all expected them to start communicating a little bit more. Um, and they haven't really said much at all. They, had, the, they talked about the maps at the start of the month, and then they were meant to follow up on that this month. And they've just said today that they're essentially pushing that back to next month. So it's been a, a bit of a stinker in terms of communication. Um, it's the one thing you'd think they could just do without too much interruption. I've always wondered why communication in not just, you know, Battlefield games, but so many games out there, they're so bad at it. I don't get why the community team can't just literally tweet and, you know, write a blog posts. It's not that hard. It doesn't cost that much, surely. So it is definitely a little bit frustrating. Um, and I do like to see it get memed because hopefully that sort of pushes them to you know, get stuck into it a little bit more, but yeah, hopefully, I think once we start getting closer to, you know, season one and stuff, hopefully it should pick up a little bit. I don't think they have much to share at the moment, and that's why it's been quiet. If communication sucks when there's actual content coming out, that'll be a, a bit of a different story, I think, but I think as of right now, there's honestly just nothing that they can really share, so it is frustrating, but I, I can kind of see why they're doing it, to be honest. Battlefield Mobile has more destruction than 2042. You gotta kill with that too, goddamn. It actually does, man. That's actually. That's meant to. What a map, too. Is this Grand Bazaar? I'm pretty sure this is Grand Bazaar. Battlefield 3. That is pretty crazy to look at, though. Like, this is a mobile game. In saying that, obviously, it's a lot less powerful to do that with a mobile game, so I. It's not quite a fair comparison, but it is still pretty mental that, you know, they can pull that off. To be fair, they do have destruction. It's just mostly that they don't have this type of destruction where it's the taller buildings. It's only really like the small buildings, so that's uh, that's pretty mad to see that. Brutal expectations. <laughs> they put the scoreboard in. They're still missing content, voice chat, bug fixes, community interaction, squad features, fun maps, C5 drone nerf, new maps, live service, new guns, input fixes, UX and UI, and progression. <laughs> that is uh, pretty much my thoughts on the whole scoreboard thing summed up. I get why they had to fix the scoreboard, but to me personally, of all the things listed in that meme, the scoreboard is probably dead last for what I actually needed so it is funny to <laughs> to meme that but at the same time it is pretty frustrating that that 
you know, that's the way they went. To be fair, I think part of that was how much the community had a cry about it. So it's kind of on us a little bit as well. I didn't really complain about it, but I'll, you know, I'm part of the community. I'll count myself in that. Um, it is partly on us for how much we cried about the scoreboard. So I think it's a bit of an L on both sides of the story there. Battlefield 2042 servers at this moment. <laughs> Legit. Especially in Aussie servers, man, it is tough to find games without bots. Um, you kind of have to play, usually like late at night, um, you can find games pretty easily. And during the day you can find games, it's just that they're full of bots. And especially as a content creator, like I don't want my gameplay to be full of me just killing bots. That's just not fun and it's not, it doesn't make for good content. So it is actually pretty frustrating that um, the game's so dead simply because it's hard to make content. It's hard to even play the game and get footage because yeah, half the, the lobbies are filled with... Uh, with these guys right here. Dice cherry picked and only managed one 10 out of 10. Meanwhile, from software, I'm also gonna say, how the fuck did they get a 10 out of 10 on Battlefield? <laughs> um, FromSoft barely had enough room for all of their perfect scores. Just a fun little comparison. This is a, this is an interesting one. Um, I noticed here, like, so with Elden Ring, um, and I will say I'm playing Elden Ring at the moment. This game is worth the 10 out of 10s. I don't rate it 10 out of 10 myself because 10 out of 10 is perfect. So no, nothing ever gets 10 out of 10 for me, but it is worthy of these scores, to be honest. Um, now, companies like IGN and Game Informer, for example, they're not always correct and they do a lot of dumb shit. They do a lot of clickbait articles and stuff like that. But you can see here that like they've actually got a lot of very reputable companies like IGN, Game Informer, GameSpot, um, there's, there's a ton throughout here that are actually like bigger sort of companies. Whereas I'm not going to lie for the Battlefield ones. I think Tech Radar is the only one that I actually know there. Yeah, Tech Radar is literally the only one that I got. So the, the title says Dice Cherry Picked um, and Only Managed One 10 out of 10. And that's, that is a very good thing to point out that they, the scores look good here, but yeah, they literally just cherry picked. The, the ones that were good. I'm sure that IGN would have given it like a, a six or a seven out of 10 and they're just not gonna show that. So I thought that was worth noting mostly just cause it had an Elden Ring uh, reference and I'm a big fan of Elden Ring. So <laughs> I wanted to add that one in there. Uh, this one says EA and Dice would appreciate hearing your feedback. And then the meme, son back in the day, Dice didn't have to ask people how to make a good Battlefield game. Now this one, I'm not gonna lie. I completely disagree with that. And I think that actually shows that this dude the post of this is a little bit out of touch with how the dev cycle actually goes because this is one of the first battlefield games that they didn't do a lot of feedback um you know play tests and stuff like that beforehand one of the biggest um complaints that i've seen especially i've only just been a part of the creator network the last year i think 20 no it was 2020 when i got added to the it was then called the game changer program so i wasn't involved in battlefield 5 but from everything that I've heard from guys like Westy and Jack Frags and a lot of the guys that are in the, in the, you know, program, whatever it's called now, EA Creator Network, I think, they all pretty much say that a lot of the reasons that this game is having the issues that it is, is because they didn't actually ask us, you know, for feedback and stuff during the, you know, the development of the game. And so this meme is actually kind of the opposite. It says, we'd appreciate hearing your feedback. They're kind of not doing that until now when it's a little bit too late. It's not like it's too late to fix the game, but it's just too late. They can't relaunch the game well. It's it's already had a bad launch, so they're going to have to rebuild it. And then when it says back in the day, DICE didn't have to ask. They actually did. That's why they did well. They used to always have playtest sessions with, you know, whether it would just be even game reviewers. I don't think the Game Changer program was probably around back in, you know, Battlefield 3 and 4 days, but I know for like Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5, they did a lot of playtest sessions and sort of feedback sessions with content creators and reviewers and stuff like that to actually get the feedback before launch. And that's one thing that Battlefield 1 did really well. Um, they actually listened to the feedback and that's why it launched really well. So this meme, I'm not going to lie, is actually completely the opposite of what it should be um, and all the upvotes just show that people don't actually understand that's what happens the more that they ask for feedback you know leading up to launch the better the game will be and then everyone always goes oh they have to ask us how to do it the peak battlefield days that you guys are used to that's when they were asking people for feedback so i think a lot of people don't actually understand how that works i think the more feedback that they get the more that they ask us what we want that's going to result in a better game essentially legacy flying controls please 
can't fly in this game, me neither, and I'm a commercial helicopter pilot. I'm not going to lie, the dude who thinks being a pilot in real life should make you a good pilot in the game. What the fuck? <laughs> Does that mean that anyone who's in the army should just be the best player in the world or what <laughs> the fuck? That is, yeah, that is peak Reddit. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for another Reddit reaction. Hopefully next month's is a little bit more um, exciting and enjoyable. Obviously, we are getting, they said... A bigger update in April so we'll see how that goes I've heard that before so we'll just have to wait and see what that's like I think if that isn't a really really big and really solid update then at least the reddit reaction should be a lot of fun because that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna roast the absolute shit out of dice if uh if it doesn't live up to kind of what they hyped it up to be I think that was a bit of a dumb move on their part hyping up the April update because I just feel like it's still not going to be that big but we'll have to wait and see um, but yeah that is going to do it for this one boys and girls thank you all very much for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace